How you doing? From my interview, I was able to do someone that was here in the Heartland, in Highlands County. He's from Lake Placid, Florida. His name's Trevor Roberts. Very great man, great entrepreneur, great businessman, has had a successful run. I call him, uh, he's a close family friend, not so much to me, but close to my dad. My dad knew his dad, and now that he has an office and everything, every time he's always came around, he's gave me great advice, great advice that I can be able to pass on and take with me and know for the rest of my life that he's heard from other people, just like everything else in the world, you know, gets passed down from older men and the old wise men and that you hear and you talk to and you everything and that such, you know. He's a, he has a couple different businesses. He has grinding and mulching. I don't know if you're familiar with that or anything, but he has steel buildings. And he has a, he's a real estate agent. He's a, I just sent him an email to be able to schedule a time in his office to be able to sit down and talk to him and have a professional interview. And that's how I was able to get the interview. He's a 42 years old, great man, has one daughter, a wife, and he loves to hunt, fish, great guy. But from my perception and the impression someone will make upon someone speaks very loudly without even being verbal if that makes sense at all to you. Speaks in a voice that is very uplifting. However, he's very stern, you know, so when he says something, you know to listen because it's going to be something to take from it. It's pretty neat. One real life situation I was able to experience and hear and that he was able to tell me, I was very, very grateful for the experience, was his daughter was born two months early and however, she had very, she had different illnesses that her body hadn't developed yet. So they spent almost nine months in the, in the children's hospital in Orlando, making it very hard for him. And But, however, as a leader, he was able to manage his businesses, stay in the hospital every day, comfort his wife, look for his daughter, pay his bills, which was awesome to me. The amount of leadership in that man right there is unheard of to just be able to do that and be able to stand up and take a responsibility for everything to put his family first. A huge characteristic found while interviewing Mr. Trevor was uh, be honest and integrity. He's one man that he's not going to cut the corners or go around with you. He's It's straightforward. Either you like it or you don't. It's either good for you or it's not. It's good for him or not, but he's going to shoot you straight honesty, which is great. And, that, and that's something I try to take because if you're honest, you can never turn back. It might not be what someone wants to hear, but you're being honest to him. And he takes pride in that. He takes pride in the situation of being straight up to be, to be able to tell someone yes, no, what the situation is and not try to beat the corners, you know, to be able to make someone smile, but it's really not worth it. That's a huge thing in, in leadership to me. And that's where it all starts from is to be honest with yourself and to be honest with everyone else, to be the leader, to one that steps up, the one that the leader you know, just not a leader that everyone can be. You got to be the leader when no one's looking, in my opinion. After being able to sit back and think about the interview and the definition of a leader would have to be the leader for me is be straight honest, straightforward. To be able to take pride in everything you do, everything you say, everything that you do throughout the day, you know that that's you. You're, you are able to do that, which is awesome. A true leader is not perfect. No one's perfect in the world. Everyone knows this. Everyone has their ups and downs. Everything like that always gets spun around. But to be the leader, to be honest, says a lot right from the get-go. And to be honest, it never steer you wrong. You might, you might make someone mad or happy, but at least you are true and honest. Practical statements made in this interview would have to be the comments such as being a bigger person to be able to see the bigger picture. So what I took from that when he told me that, he said you got to be the bigger person to see the bigger picture in the end. It's to be, to step back. If you're in an argument, to sit back and say, let me think the situation through to see what's going to happen in the end instead of just blurt something out or out of anger talking. You have to be the bigger person to think of the situation to see what's actually going to happen in the end, which is pretty neat. And I like that because most people talk out of anger. They talk out of happiness. They, they, just, they don't process what's actually going on, and that's where a lot of people get in trouble.
it was pretty neat to be able to do this assignment and hear the interview and it was really eye-opening for me and I was a great experience to be able to talk to him on a professional level. I really enjoyed this assignment. Thank you.